Hey YouTube, Shomo Kyle here with another NBA 2K16 video for you guys, and today I have my second lineup update of NBA 2K16 to show you. And we do have a couple new additions to our team. So here we go, we're gonna jump right into it. We still got Gold Kyrie at point guard. Um, as, as we did in our first lineup update. This card is just too good, guys. I mean, I've got 20 gold badges on him. Uh, just one of those gold cards that you need to have. I mean, I don't know anybody that started off my team that didn't have this card starting or they're in their second unit. Then our shooting guard, we do have our Amethyst Clyde Drexler from the Gauntlet. This card is just a beast. I mean, there's not much to say. If you guys have this card, you're using him. I know you are. And then at small forward, we got all-star Glenn Rice, who we did pick up a couple weeks ago. This was the card I was most interested in, aside from Mitch Richmond, um, in the all-star packs. I don't know. It's just, he's, like, look at that standing shot three. He's a 95. That's obviously great. But he's got a 90 driving layup, 97 standing layup. The driving dunk's only 75, but he is a lot better than the 75 driving dunk, believe me. 81 speed, which is pretty good for a three. Um, the defense is, is all right. I mean, it's not all that. But he's really consistent. He's pretty fast. His shot release is a little slow, but he's got 11 gold badges on him that I put on him. And that includes, you know, microwave, limitless range, unfazed, dead eye, all the good ones. And those really work well on this card. So... This card, I think it goes for about 80k right now, so if you guys are looking for a shooter and you don't have one at your three position, I was stuck with Paul George. Um, go go get this card. I mean, either him or Mitch Richmond, but Mitch Richmond's a shooting guard. He can play as the three, but, you know, this card's really good, guys. Then at power forward, we still have our gold Lamarcus Aldridge. I mean, what can I say? The post fade, the post hook the mid-range, the three-pointer, they're all there, so I have nothing to complain about. Um, the rebounding isn't great, but, you know, I, I really don't want him for the rebounding. Uh, he's just very, very versatile, consistent, everything I need in the power forward. And I like that outside shooting power forward, so this is the perfect card for me and my team. And then at center we have... Wait, what? That's not right. <laughs> I am not starting Dwight Howard at center. Let's see. Who else have we got? Oh, yeah. Amethyst Carl Anthony Towns Moments Edition. I just picked him up. <laughs> I spent 224,000 MT on him. But, guys, he is totally worth it. I'm going to show you a quick look at his stats, okay? 6'11", 250 pounds. Obviously a one-year pro from Kentucky. Got a 95 standing layup, 85 driving, 85 post fade and post hook, which is actually pretty good. I like that. Um, 86 post control. Then look at this, guys. 94 standing and moving mid range. 94. And then an 84 standing shot three. 85 free throw. 95 passing IQ from that um, all star game he won, that little side game. 93 box out, 89 defensive rebounds, 75 offensive, which is actually okay. I like that. Lateral quickness, 75, 85 block, 81 shot contest, and then the defense is decent, 80 standing, 75 driving dunk, but this is my favorite part about this card, guys. 86 speed, 82 acceleration. Let's go for a center. I know he's 6'11", but still, for a center, 86 speed, 82 acceleration, that obliterates every center, every good center in this game. Shaq, Dikembe, those guys stand no chance against this card, especially since they can't play perimeter D, and they aren't fast enough. This card is going to be amazing, guys. I'm going to throw out a player review on him tomorrow, so make sure you tune in for that. I'm probably going to play a couple gauntlet games with him to show you what I can do with him. But man, this card is going to be amazing for my team. I've always wanted that outside shooting center. And the fact that he has speed even makes it even better. So, 225k later, pick him up. He's on my team. I'm really excited. 
and he's going to be my starter for a long, long time. I'm telling you guys that now. Unless I end up selling him for somebody better, which I'm not thinking, I, I'm not thinking I will. It can't get much, can't get much better than this unless you want to go even higher on the stats in the same areas. Let's take a look at the 19 gold badges really quick. He comes with he comes with microwave, unfazed, limitless range, uh, which is amazing for a center. I don't have to put those on there for bronze. Um, some other highlights. He's got post hook specialist, killer crossover for a center, which is another weird one. Uh, flashy passer and dimer, defensive crasher. Eraser, one man fast break, and transition finisher. So guys, I'm so excited to use that card. You have no idea. All right, so now we move on to our bench. We've got a five gold second unit, and this is the strongest second unit I've ever had, guys. John Wall, Clay Thompson, Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins, and Dikembe Mutombo. Now, I was thinking about putting Tim Duncan at my backup power forward instead of Cousins, but Cousins is, a, is athletic enough, and I just like him a lot more than Tim Duncan in this game. So, I, you know, I'm putting him at power forward for now. It may change. It's a work in progress, so we'll see. Um, and I, as you guys know, Walk, Thompson, and George are three of the best gold cards in the game. And Matumbo is just a defensive beast. I'm really excited to have him coming off the bench. Um, to support the rest of this crew because Mutombo coming in with his defense is really big for me to protect the paint and uh, so on. Then in our sixth bench position, we do have Tim Duncan. I just like to have this guy on my team, <laughs> one of my favorite players of all time. And, you know, his card isn't too bad, especially if you know how to use him. And then in our last two positions, we do have two Amethyst point guards in 1999 Jason Kidd and 1960 Bob Cousy. Now, as you can see, the gauntlet reward cards that I have, the 250 wins Bob Cousy is the last player on my bench, as different as um, my Amethyst Clyde Drexler that I got for 150 wins from the gauntlet, so you guys know which card is more important to get. And then I've got, of course, the Amethyst uh, Jason Kidd from Domination. You know, I, he's a good card. Great card, actually. He's just not good enough to be over John Wall or uh, Gold Kyrie, in my opinion. So, and Ariel. thank you guys for watching this lineup update. As you can see, we now have five Amethyst players on our team. We did have Rick Barry at one point, but I ended up selling him so I could get enough MT to get Carl Anthony Towns. Rick Barry just wasn't good enough, guys. He was a 95 overall very very overrated i think he only goes for like 60k now so you know people know that he's overrated all right guys so once again thank you guys for watching this nba 2k16 video on shomo entertainment with shomo kyle i'm really excited to use this card don't forget tomorrow to check out this carl anthony towns card player review i'm gonna play a couple gauntlet games with him and it's going to be absolutely insane. So stay tuned for that. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and you all have a terrific day. All right, guys, so that was supposed to be the end of the video, but um, if you guys did see, I had about, I don't know, about 8,000 MT left over. So I bought a pack just out of the blue. I mean, I really just felt like it, I guess. And I got nothing. So I was about 100 MT short for another pack and I said screw it. So I sold a Curry shoe for 100 MT, had just enough to buy one more pack, and I'm pulling Amethyst <laughs> all these pack openings. I haven't done a ton, but I did, I've done a few. I don't pull an Amethyst in all of these pack openings. I do a random pack after I'm done with a video. I'm not even recording, for God's sake, and I'm gonna get an amethyst <laughs> this is crazy this is an all-star mvp pack so it could be trash um i mean honestly not, none of them are trash but you know it could be like david thompson or somebody like that it's not in the moments packs so i we're just gonna open it really quick you guys get a bonus amethyst card in this lineup update let's see who it is will he make the lineup it is james harden let's go that's all right I'll take a James Harden. I've, I don't even think I've, yeah, I've never had him this year. So 
as you can see, I have 121 MT left over after selling that jersey. So, well, once again, thank you guys for watching <laughs> this lineup update and this bonus Amethyst pull. That's my first Amethyst pull of NBA 2K16. And James Harden's probably going to come off the bench. So, that's exciting. <laughs> thank you guys for watching again. You all have a great day.